Good lad. That's it, leave that there. Oh, move all this out the way so we don't want to fall over that, do we, buddy? Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Give us a wave when you come on. The water's going down where the spiders live. Okay, not a problem. Now you've killed the You can have a little kick about on there. I'm going to run around you, you said. Well, run around. Do whatever you want. I'm going left, Daddy. Super fast. Are we getting too burnt out, though, before we start? <laughs> Had lots to eat, so you've got lots of energy, have we? <laughs> right, guys, good morning. Remember, give us a shout out, give us a wave, or oh, give us, let us know you're watching, and we'll give you a shout out, should I say. Good morning, Gemma. Good morning, Stephen. And again, guys, when you do jump on, you say hello, give it a bit of a watch party as well. Let other people know what you're up to this morning. Oh. Every little helps, as they say. I don't think oh, well, well done. And we've got some sunshine this morning. Glorious day. But Australia aren't. Australia haven't got any sunshine. No, we've Dad, pinched it all. Yes, mate. When sunny comes to us, yeah. it goes nighttime at Australia. Yeah, good luck. When it goes sunny at Australia, yeah. it comes nighttime here. Oh, no. My mummy does that. <laughs> right, guys. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Andrew. If you are just jumping on, guys, just a little extra today. If you can go and find four objects. We need a red one, a green one, a blue one, and a yellow one. Okay? So if you've got a few minutes just before we start, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be cones. It can be anything. A pair of socks, um, a piece of paper with the colour on it, anything you like. But we just need four items, guys, today. All right, that have got these four colours. Yellow, blue, green, and red. Okay, I will go over that a little bit later on as well. But like I say, guys, good morning to everybody. Come run around you again. We will, so everyone jumps on. Wait till we've got a full class. Come got to start in before yet. the class, before everyone's here. Can you come and catch me? Yeah. Come catch me then. Try. Not just yet, mate. We'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> right then, guys, so, as I say, good morning. Just in case you're wondering why me and Theo are not in our five-star sports kit this morning, okay, and we are fully Leeds United up, today would have been promotion day, I'm sure, at Ellen Road. Okay, we would have been down there watching them versus Charlton, being promoted to the Premier League. Can't do that, so today's all about Leeds United in our house. We're going to have a, our own promotion party. So we're fully Leeds up today, okay? So if you're a Leeds fan, guys, get those Leeds shirts on. Let's have the sun shining. What a day to be alive. Go for a bike ride, bro. We'll go for a bike ride, bro, later on. So, guys, yep, yeah, get yourselves on. Give us a wave. Give it a couple of minutes and we'll get started. Come and catch me. Go and catch me. First session, as always, guys, is going to be aimed at the younger ones, so the three to five-year-olds. We're going to do a little bit of passing today. Okay. And we're going to have a little quiz as well. So, I've been having a, a couple of requests. Uh, people getting in touch just asking as well how to sort of incorporate a little bit of education into sport so is there any way we can sort of teach um, lessons whether it be maths english all these kind of things teach them a little bit of schoolwork, but doing it through sport so we're going to have a little football sporty type quiz i'm going to show you a little game that we can play at the end okay where you can adapt it to your child and it's just like a little obviously a little sports quiz um, for the younger ones Nice, simple, easy questions. The older ones are going to make it a little bit harder. Okay, and test the parents' knowledge today as well. It is going to require two people today, guys, where possible. So mums and dads, you're going to have to get your boots on today. Okay, because obviously we're going to do a little bit of passing. So it'd be great if we could get an extra person involved. Brothers and sisters, great. If you've only got an only child like mine, then mums and dads, you guys are going to have to get involved as well. If you can, we need a little square set up again. As always, all the session we're going to do today is going to be inside that square. So using minimal space again. Who else is on? Good morning, Mum. Mum's watch. Grandma's on. Grandma's watching. Grandma and Granddad getting their boots on and having a run around as well. See if you can try and catch me. We're going to in a second, dude. All right. Again. Absolutely full of energy this morning, this one. Boom. Oh. Boom. Oh, it's testing me. 
Testing me. Testing me. <laughs> ah, I got you. Well, look what I've got to do to you. <laughs> right then, guys. So, get yourselves ready. So, we, as I said before, we're going to need the square that we've set up there. And if you missed it just a little, a few seconds ago, we're going to need four colours. So, four objects, guys. A yellow, a blue, a green and a red, if you can. Doesn't matter what they are, as long as they're those colours. Okay, could be a piece of paper with the word written on it, coloured in, whichever. We're just going to need four colours because they're going to be our answers for our quiz at the end, okay? That's it. Right then, guys, if we're ready, can I see some thumbs up? Can I see some likes? Good morning, Phil. It just kicked it back to my hand. Yeah, see some thumbs up if we're ready to go. Like I said, we just need the square. And Theo, can we put the ball in the middle for me? So we need one ball for the start off. Good morning, Elliot. Try. The Nolses are ready to go this morning. Fantastic. Try. Right then. Are we ready to go? Can I see some thumbs up? Good morning, Dave. Yes, thumbs up flying in. Good right then, guys. So we're going to have a little warm up first. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go around the square. Okay, not yet. Eager beaver. We do a little warm up. Okay. We're going to have just a little ball steel game. So, we're going to move around the square different ways. At some point, I'm going to shout the word ball. All I want you to do when I shout the word ball is run into the middle, put your foot on the ball as fast as you can. First person to do it wins the point, okay? If you are on your own for this one, it's okay. Just get in there as fast as you can as soon as you hear me shout ball. All right, are we ready? Round, so, no, on that side. So, we're going to have one on either side. We're going to start off really easy. We're just going to have a little jog, okay? So, don't get too close. Okay, so we're just going to go round and round the square. Okay, are we ready? Boom! So you're going to run in. Oh, who got it first? It's a draw. Oh, was it a draw? Right, so we've got a point each. Who got it first at home? So set yourselves back up. Are you ready? This time we're going to run backwards. So you're going to run backwards. That way. You've got to go the same way. That's it. So backwards running. Are you ready? Boom! This time, guys, whatever objects you've got, if you can, I want you to jump over them. So you're going to run round, going to jump over. Run round, jump over. Big jumps. Big jumps. Big jumps. That's it. Big jumps. And ball. So in as fast as you can. Ball. A draw again. A draw again. Oh, super fast. Right. Now the other way. We've got the other way around. So yeah, if you want to go the other way around, we can. What we're going to do this time for you. Sideways, right there. So we're going to do side step, go around the square. Are you going to shout ball this time? Yeah. Just shout it nice and loud to everyone at home. Can hear you? Ball. Ball. Oh. You got there before me that time. Yeah. yeah. I'm really strong. Are you? So what are we doing this time then? Uh, decisions, decisions. So we do big giant steps. Do you know? like that. Oh, you want to do a helicopter? Yeah. Right then, guys, so we're going to have a little bit of a helicopter. I know, going like round and round. Yeah. So, round and round. Now, we're getting dizzy and falling over, guys. So, are we ready? I like the helicopter. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, I'm a bit dizzy there. I couldn't get in the middle, totally. Well, I could say I was going straight. <laughs> right then, guys, this time. Okay, a little bit dizzy there, a little bit disorientated. This time. When we shout the word ball, we're going to do a little bit of tackling. So, when we shout ball, instead of just running in, putting your foot on it, I want one of you to get hold of the ball. Okay? And you've got to try and get out of the square of the side that you came in. Okay? So, stay off, hold the ball. So, we're there. So, if I come in from, if I'm running around and I come in through this side and I get the ball, I've got to try and get the ball out of that side. Theo's going to try and stop me. If Theo, go, he's on the outside, buddy. And then you want you to run round. And then run in at any stage you want. And follow there. So Theo's running this side, so he needs to get the ball out of that side. I'm going to try and stop him. Oh, and if it goes out another side, then I get the point instead, okay? So we're going to go around the outside. When I shout ball, run in, get control of it. And then whoever's got it has got to try and get out the same side, okay? 
Good morning, Simon. Oh, right, we need to fall in the middle first. Yeah, put in. Right then, guys. So, what we're going to do, Sammy, did you say? Yes, yeah, Sammy. Whoa, so you've got to go really fast. I can go. Get round that square, guys. I'm going to say ball. Super. You're going to shout ball? Yeah. Right then. Ball. Right, so you've got to get out that side. Well, this side. This side, you've got to get past me. You've got to get past me. Oh, not Megs. Oh, I got it. I stopped him from getting out. All right, then back in the middle. When we go again, we'll go that way around this time. Yes, Sonic again. Sonic again, so Sonic again, right fast. And ball. Oh, I got it this time. Oh, oh I'm getting dizzy. Oh. I sent him dizzy. Right, then back on, buddy. Tough one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a tough one. Right, guys. Try not to trick me. Try not to trick you? No. Oh, that's not fair. Right, then, one more time. Are we ready? Sonic again. Right, last time, Sonic, guys. See if you can go as fast as possible. Are you ready? Like Sonic's friend. Like Sonic and Sonic's friend. Are you ready? Yeah. Steady. Go! <laughs> super fast, super fast. <laughs> Oh, I've got to get this side, haven't I? This way, and you get the, and you tackle me, and get it out on that, any other side. Oh, he's not me. Oh, well done. Right, guys, get yourselves a quick drink. Dad, yeah. Look. Oh, Mr. Cool Dude. <laughs> Sly tackles flying in at the Gibson household. <laughs> I need a drink. Calvin Phillips style. So like I said guys at the beginning, if you have just joined in during that game, we're all dressed in Leeds United today because we would have been, I'm sure, promoted today. My daddy so we're going to have a little promotion party at home today, aren't we buddy? Yeah. <laughs> right then guys, we're going to move on now to some little passing games. So we're going to start off really easy and then gradually build it up, make it a little bit more tougher. Pass, touch okay. the pass, touch the Not just yet. So guys, what we need... You need to stand one side of the cut of the square each. So this is where you need your partner if you haven't. Maybe something just to pass the ball against initially. You're all right, it's fine. Right then. So Theo, which part of the foot do we pass with? Inside. Inside, fantastic. So all I want you to do guys, for the first minute, just going to pass the ball backwards and forwards. So you want to pass the ball in, little control, pass it back. What did I say? Oh, yeah. That's it. So pass the ball. Little control, pass it back. Little control, pass it back. That's it. So just get your legs warmed up. Oh, he's blasting at me. He's testing my touch today. Wasn't expecting that. Cheeky monkey. That's it. So just a pass, Theo. So it's not a shoot. It's not a shot, even. Okay, just a nice little pass in. Okay. So nice and easy, guys, just to start off with. Just get used to passing the ball. If you want to use the other foot as well, use your weaker foot. That's fine. Try and get used to using both feet. Okay, little pass, nice and steady guys, just to get us going, get used to the distance that we're passing the ball, okay, a little pass, fire on fire, stop, that's it, and then pass it back, use it weaker foot, well done, ready guys, hold it there, going to get our feet working now, okay, yeah. so what we've got this time, can I say it? So we've got either side of us guys, we've got two cones, a cone each side, okay? So what I want you to do, every time you pass the ball, touch you're going to touch one of the cones and get back. So I'm going to pass the ball to Theo. No, not yet. Are you going to pass the ball yet? I'm going to pass the ball to Theo. No, Theo. Remember, you've got to stop it, I'm going to do it. Once you've passed it, you do it. Okay? So pass it back to me first so I can show everyone at home. That's it. So I'm going to start with it. I pass the ball to Theo. Theo, stay there. Not listening. Once I pass the ball to Theo, I'm going to touch a cone. I'm going to come back in. Then Theo passes it to me. He touches a cone. Now, see, now we're supposed to do it. And then back in the middle. And then we pass. I touch a cone. And I'm back in the middle. Okay? Look. Superpower. Jump up, touch a cone. So off we go with that, guys. So a little pass. Touch a cone. Back to the middle. Touch the core back to him, it's got to be fast. So touch, touch, touch really quick, get back. Oh, a little scoop pass, look. Touch 
touch a corn afterwards every time. Right, touch them, not kick them, otherwise we're going to end up in street, you will. Moving my square about. Okay. So try and do it, guys, as fast as you can. As soon as you pass the ball, touch, get back. Oh, look at the little skip. Little skip, little chip. Touch a corn, quick, quick, quick. That's it, touch. Back. Touch a corn, touch a corn. Try not to touch the same one every time. Try and go to both sides. No, control it, remember. That game's coming up. Okay, it's just a little touch and back. Oh. Right, guys, hold it there. Right, this time, when I pass the ball, instead of just touching the cone, I'm going to pass the ball, I'm going to go right round the cone and back in. So pass, go round the cone, back in, and then pass. I'm going to go round the cone and then back in. Make sure you control it on that side first, okay? So just have a go at that, pass, round the cone, back in. Oh, I'll make sure that pass, round the cone, round the cone. That's it. So we're getting our feet moving, pass, I go round the cone. That's it, and then pass it back. Oh, he's got this one down. I'm going round the corner then every time you pass it to me. Good lad. Back in. Yeah. Oh, round the corner. Oh, he's gone round two. Okay. Last couple, guys, for the last, last 20 seconds. Then we're going to turn it into a little game. When you go round one, you go round two. Okay. It's going to make it easy for me to win the next game. So last 10 seconds. Oh. And hold it there. Righty guys, so now we're going to turn this into a little game, okay? Let's have a look who's on here. Good morning guys, those that are joining in midway through. Right, we're going to turn this passing game into a little challenge competition now. So this time, we're going to go back to just touching the cones once you've passed it. So I'm going to pass the ball, touch a cone, and get it back but this time we're not going to control the ball we're going to pass it back first time or we're going to keep on the floor for this one to fear okay or if you need to control it do that but pass it back as fast as you can you're going to try and catch the person out on the other side okay so i'm going to pass the ball you're going to pass it back straight away so you've got to touch the corn quick 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 i'm going to pass it he has got to get there oh i didn't run did i Okay, so you're going to try and get the ball. So every time I pass it, I'm going to touch a cone. Theo's going to pass it. Touch a cone. I'm going to pass. I'm going to touch a cone. Oh, I'm going to touch a cone. Oh, touch a cone. That's it. But every time you pass it, you're going to touch a cone. And then if you touch it, and they pass it through your side, they get the point, and then we go again, guys, okay? So, just explanation again so you've got your four squat sides passing it once you pass pass the ball move touch a cone get back in when you receive it if you can pass it back first time do so if you need to control it control it but then pass it back really quick try and pass it okay before that person gets back and obviously if you're touching the cone try and get back really quick and get in the middle right to you we ready yeah come on then i'm gonna be your side you want to be on my side okay that's fine swap sides not a problem i'll play uphill are you ready so every time you pass it, what have you got to do, Theo? Uh, kick it straight away. Yeah, once you've kicked it, what do you do? Touch your cone and get back in the middle. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. We'll play the first two five points. Yeah? No, ten points. No, five points. Ten. Are you ready? Are you ready at home, guys? Three, two, one, go. Oh, pass. Oh, no, that's gone out. Touch your cone. Oh, I've stopped it. Pass for a point for me. Yep. Right, let's start again. One nil, Daddy. Are you ready? No, zero, no one nil, Daddy. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you not only go when you pass it. Are you ready? Go. Yeah. Whoa. Touch. Oh, I've got it. I'm gonna go that side. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh I've kicked it out. Are you? Theo gets the point. Are you not here? Yeah. Right then, you start with the ball. So it's one all. One to one. One to one. Are you ready? So pass. Oh, he's gone for it. Touch. Oh, oh he stopped it. Well done, but it's gone out, so Daddy gets the point. 2-1, Daddy. You ready? Still got one. Ready? 
Steady. Go. Push your guns. Oh. 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 Three, one, daddy. Oh. oh. Here he comes, Mr. Temper. Come on. Competition heads on. Come on, it's got to be a quick pass. Oh, he's gone for a cheeky back heel. Oh, he's got it through. Three, two. Mate, stop kicking the cones. Because then we don't have a square anymore. And you keep having to run further then, don't you? All right. Three, two. Ready? Go. So make sure, guys, every time you pass it, just oh. touch it. Don't kick them, dude. Oh. That's it. Oh, I've kicked it out again. Point to Theo. Three, three. All right. Are you ready? Go. Oh, blasted it on me. Oh, that's a cheap shot. Four, three to Theo. So Theo's on match point. Are you ready? Pass. Touch. Oh! Oh, blocked it, but it's gone out. I think Theo wins, but there might have been a little bit of cheating going on there. Right, guys, so keep, if you're going still, have a keep going. Last 30, we'll give you 30 seconds to finish up. I'll get a drink. And then, guys, once you've finished, this is where we're going to need our four coloured objects. So if you didn't catch this at the beginning, we just need four objects, guys. If you've got cones, great, but it doesn't matter as long as you've got four colours. Red one, green one, blue one, whoops, um, blue one. one and a yellow one. And a green one. And then all we need you to do is to put a colour on each corner. <coughs> so you can put it on top, you can put it down the side. In fact, we'll put it down the side because it's a bit windy in garden today. So we'll pop it down the side. Next to him like that. That's it. Let's make this square a little bit bigger. So we're now going to enter our quiz zone. Okay. So Theo, do you want to get a ball and stand in the middle? Yes. So guys, as I said at the beginning, a um, couple of people uh, had a few chats over the last week or two. Just a couple of parents, just asking a few ideas of how to sort of incorporate a little bit of sort of home learning, homeschooling, yes. and in involving sport as well. So we've got a little game that we do, it's just a little quiz. So you can do this in lots of different ways. I'm going to show you a really simple version with some really simple questions for the little ones. Obviously the older ones, got some more trickier questions for you. So guys, okay, you've got your four corners, we've got the four colours. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, okay? You're going to do a little bit of dribbling inside the square. I'm going to ask you a question. The answer is a colour, okay? You've got to get to that colour as fast as you can. I'm going to give you five seconds to get to that colour. Okay, I'll then give you the answer. If you stood at the right cone, you get a point. If you're not stood at the right cone, no points. Okay, if you're going against somebody, okay, so if you don't know the answer, have a guess first of all, because you, this is how we learn as well. So I always get asked this, I don't really know a lot about football or what the questions are. So we just say to the kids, have a guess, because at the end of it, we're going to give you the answer you're going to know hopefully for the future then as well. Okay. So like I said, if you are on your own, just get there as quick as you can. If you're going against somebody, again, get there as fast as you can. If you both go to the right answer, whoever got there first gets an extra point, okay? So, here we go, guys. Get yourself in the square. I want you to just dribble around inside the square here. So lots of touches to move around. So dribble that ball. Go in all different sides, guys. And the first round is fruit. So I'm going to shout out a piece of fruit. You've got to work out what colour it is and get to that colour as fast as you can, guys, okay? So we'll get moving around. Make sure those ears are open, you can hear me, okay? Because here comes the first one. Are you ready? I want you to keep dribbling, that's it, T. Round and round. I'm going to start off really simply. Blueberry. What colour is a blueberry? You've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ball time. Right, guys, hopefully... All right, you are all stood on the blue cone or your blue object. If you are, give yourselves a clap, give yourselves a point. If you are racing against somebody, whoever got there first, there you get two points, okay? Theo, did you get it right? Yes, blue cone, blue point, one nil. Right, back in the middle, guys. Off we go again, a little dribbling around. If you can do some little turns, little tricks and things, go around all over the place. 
We've got another easy one for us. Little tricks. Yeah, little tricks. We've got to stay inside the square though, dude. Inside the square. Lots and lots of touches of that ball. So keep it close to you. And we're going to go for banana. Five, four, three, two, one. Fall time. What colour is the banana, Theo? Yellow. Yellow. Well done. So if you're stood at the yellow cone, get yourself another point. Or it might be your first point. Who knows? And again, if you're racing against somebody, whoever got there first, guys, they get the extra point. Right, Theo, you ready? Yeah. Got two that. more to go, guys. Got four in each category for this one. I want a bit choosy. If you're really it. clever, you should know there's only going to be two possible answers left now. Okay. Are we ready, guys? Off, yeah. off we go and see. Can you go? How fast can you go with that ball? Can you go super fast? But keep it inside the square. That's it. That's it. Move it around nice and quick. Right, guys. Next one is going to be a kiwi. <gasps> the inside of a kiwi. Okay, what colour is a kiwi fruit? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, look at that. How quick did he get there? What colour is a kiwi? Shout it out. Green. Green, guys. So if you're at the green cone or the green marker, you've got yourself another point. Oh, people trying to call me. What's all that about? Right then, guys. Back in the middle for your last one. Do we know what colour it could be? Ooh. Can I go to mummy? Not yet, buddy. Got two more rounds to go, yeah. Right, off we go, moving around, moving around. So we're dribbling that ball. And your last fruit is a strawberry. What colour is a strawberry? Five, four, three, two, one. Fall time. Right. What colour is a strawberry, Theo? Shout it out. Shout it out. Shout it out. No, you got to shout it. I didn't hear you. Red. Red. So are you at the red cone for a red <laughs> strawberry? How are we there, guys? So who got all four points? Did anybody get four? Did anybody get eight points? Anybody racing against someone and get there first? Because obviously you get the double points, guys. Okay. Right then. Get yourselves back in the middle. We got round two. Okay. Got object things in the in the world now. This time though, instead of just dribbling around. Okay. I want you guys in the middle, I want you to do some toe taps this time, okay? So you're going to be in the middle, we're going to do toe taps, okay? Try and get them going as fast as you can, okay? And I'm going to shout out four new things, guys. All right, we've got four, round two, work out the colours of these, okay? So get those toe taps going as fast as you can. Tap, 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 tap. Five, five in the Higgins household, super, right? You ready to jump up because the first time question's gonna come. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, go, 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 go in on the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Quick, quick, quick. In the middle, toe taps. Right, guys, your first question is the colour of fire. What colour's fire when it's really hot? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. What colour's fire? Red. Red. Main colour of fire anyway. Red and okay. orange. Red and orange, but we haven't got an orange one, have we? Some might say yellow. So if you did go yellow, I'm going to be kind this morning. I will give you a point, but it, we were looking for red. Okay. Right then, back in the middle. Get those toe taps going, Theo. Go, go, go. Toe taps, toe taps, toe taps, toe taps, toe taps, toe taps. Toe taps. That's it. Jump up. You've got to stay on your feet, dude. Come on. You can. Theo. Nice and simple toe taps. Come on, everyone watching, everyone wants to see you do it. That's it. Then if it goes a bit wrong, then you slow it down and we start again. Right, guys, your next question the colour of grass. <gasps> what colour is grass? Three, two, one, full time. Right, what colour is grass, Theo? What shout it out? Now we've got green. Right, Elliot on seven points. Well done, buddy. Right, so you should have got the colour of grass as green. Big giveaway here. All right. Right, and see, back in the middle, toe taps. Got two more questions in this one. Two possible answers. All right, so we're narrowing it down a little bit. That's it, big toe taps. How fast can you go with those toe taps? Next question, the colour of sea. 
What colour's the sea? Or oh, the sea when we're on holiday at least, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. What colour's the sea, Theo? Blue. So if you're at the blue cone, you've got yourself another point, guys. And then right then, back in the middle. And then, Dad, when yep. we've done it, then yep. we go for the back side. Yes, mate. Later on. Stop pestering. <laughs> Theo's learnt to ride a bike and that's all he wants to do now is go on massive bike rides day after day after day after day, hour after hour after hour. Right, toe taps. Right, the last one, the colour of sand. What colour's a beach, guys? What colour's a beach? Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. Right, what colour's the sand, Theo? Yellow. Yellow. Right, guys. Okay. Did everybody get them right? Hopefully you did. We're not here anymore, Dad. Can you just tell me, guys, that we're still live? Okay, because my phone keeps doing little bits. I just want to make sure we're all still live. Can someone just say, yes, we're still here? You can still see me, you can still hear me. Yep, yeah, cool. Cheers, Andrew. It's going a bit funny. I was wasn't, wasn't sure if I was just playing to nobody here. Right then. Your last round. This round are football team kits. So what? I'm going to shout a football team out. Got to work out what colour kit they mainly wear. So not their second kit, their third kit. Okay. If you remember, guys, you're just joining for the second session. We just almost finished the first one. Good morning, Rhiannon. Okay. Yep, glad you can still see me and hear me. Fantastic, guys. So I'm going to shout out a team. Tell me what colour kit they wear. It's their home kit that I'm looking for and the main colour of their home kit, okay? This time, we're gonna do, we're gonna do side to side. So we're gonna get the ball in between, we're gonna go side to side and see if we can go all over the place, okay? Are you ready? So get that, that ball moving, Theo. Right, guys, first one. Question is, what colour kit do Liverpool play in? Liverpool, guys, you've got five seconds, five. If you don't know, Theo, have a guess. Four, three, quickly have a guess. Just run to one, two, one. You've got to get there really quick, guys. Like I said, if you're not sure, just have a guess. Better than just standing still and getting no points. Guess one, you never know, you might get it right. Right, guys, the kit that Liverpool play in, the colour is red. Oh, so if you're on the red cone, you get a point, guys. You're only tricking me. I'm not tricking you. I said to you they're going to get a little bit tricky. You've got to, re so you'll remember for next time, though, won't you? Right then, toe taps. This is what you don't get. There you go. Not toe taps. Uh, excuse me. Toe taps. No. Uh, uh, not toe taps. Well done. Yeah, side to side. So get those side to sides going, guys. That's it. Well done. Right, guys. Your next football team. What colour kit do Norwich City play in? Norwich City. Five. Four, three, three, two, one, full time. Right, guys, what colour did Norwich City play in, Theo? Yellow. Did you get the yellow one? I think you might got a little bit of help with that one. Okay. So yellow, guys, for Norwich City. Right then, back in the middle. So we've got two questions left, guys. So get those toe taps going. No, no, no. Not toe taps, well done, I'm glad you're here today. I keep forgetting to get those side to sides going. <laughs> All this isolation's getting to me, I'm losing my mind. Right then, guys, your next one. What colour kit do Celtic play in? The main colour of Celtic's kit. Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. What colour do they play in, Theo? Green. Yes, green for Celtic, guys. If you got that one, another point. Right back in the middle for side to sides. Got it right this time. Last question of the day. Side to sides. And what colour kit do Chelsea play in? Where haven't you been yet, Theo? Five. I'm not being four, blue or red. Three. I've been yellow. Two. Be blue. One. Full tie, right Theo, what kit does Chelsea play in? Blue. A blue kit, so if you got the blue kit, you have got the points guys, right? Did everybody get them all? Is anybody on 12 points? Okay. 
me know if you're on 12 points, guys. And then bring yourselves in nice and close. We'll have a little chat just to finish with. So, guys, 6-6 six, six for that round. Just tell Mum about the pants. The pants are growing. Yeah, that's fine, mate. You go. Well, next session in a couple of minutes. So, guys, second session is going to start. I'm just, give me two seconds. I'm about to lose battery. Move out, move out, move out. There we go. So, all right, hooking it all up, isn't it? It's a plug, but not switching the plug on. All right, Sam's on 12, Arthur, 11. Fantastic, guys. So, that was just, like I said, a little request from a couple of parents. So, you can use that for anything, guys. Um, obviously, if you're doing any maths questions and things with the kids, give each, cult, each side a number, so 5, 10, 15, 20, and then just ask them the question, a maths question, and then they've got to find the right number which is the answer, okay? You can ask them any type of things and get them to do anything in the middle. It's just working it out and getting there then as fast as they can. So hopefully... <laughs> it's all right, Matt. Little warm-up for you, okay? The second session's going to be a little bit similar. Obviously, the questions in the quiz are a little bit harder, all right? And we're going to advance uh, some of the stuff that we've done, but a nice little warm-up for you as well. So, guys, if you've got any questions on that, do fire them through. If, you've got, if you want any more ideas and sort of how to do some home learning, homeschooling, um, and incorporating sport with it as well. I'm more than happy to send across some ideas for you, show you some little games that you can play. So hopefully you've all enjoyed that one this morning, guys. I gave you the code. You did, mate. You've done super today. So we did a little bit of passing, showed you a little passing game, which hopefully you all enjoyed. And then just that little, little fun quiz at the end for you as well. Okay. That brings session number one to an end. So I want to say a big thank you to everyone. As always, do give us a like, give us a share, spread the word, guys. All right. You can, if you've, obviously, if you've been watching live, if it moves a little bit too quick for you, just watch it back later on, pause it, watch the games again, have a go at them. If you're watching it, if you didn't get on today, obviously, it's on our Facebook page all the time for you to watch or on our YouTube channel as well. So you can pick the games up. If you feel like you've got a sun's out and you want to have a little game, just jump on, pick a game, pick a skill, have a go at it. Let us know how you get on, guys. As I said, first lot, we're all dressed up, Leeds United today. It would have been, we would have been going to Welland Road versus Charlton, hopefully, which I'm sure it would have been a big promotion party. So me and Theo are going to have a little, our home isolation party today. Hope you guys are at home. So guys, first session, keep safe, keep well. Get yourselves nice and close. I know, I definitely know Andrew wanted this again, double weaker. I think he's put in some good effort, but I've seen some fantastic scores coming through from lots of people today. So everyone's going to share this medal today. So get your head nice and close. Bang. Super work, guys. Right, guys, give yourselves a big clap, big pat on the back, big dab. Leads. Okay, enjoy the rest of the week, guys. We'll be back same time, same place next week. Next week's session is going to be for everybody. Okay, so we're going to start at 10 o'clock. It'll be a half an hour session. And next week is going to be football fitness. So we're going to have a little fitness session all based around football. Okay, we might get mummy to join in as well. Okay, might get the whole family doing it. All right. Great. Oh, Phil, fantastic. Getting the younger ones involved again. So well done to all the little ones. If you're just jumping on, if you're older, we're going to be getting going in about one minute, guys. Okay, so get yourself sorted. We'll see you in one minute's time. I'm older. All right, mate. Dad. Bye. I'm older. I'm older. Why did you say right? For a bye, friend. Got another session to go. Uh -huh. So we'll go afterwards. We will. Stop pestering. After this one. Yes, stop pestering. Do you need me? Yes, I do. I said we're going to do it. You're going to going to join us all today right then guys so second session we just have a quick check people this jumping on in. yes mate you're going to join in today Run the right guys no worries adrian glad you had a bit of fun this morning bailing out before the difficult questions come in that's what i think okay all right enjoy your weeks guys we'll see you guys next week if you are just jumping on two things you're going to need number one a square, just like we've got behind us. And we're gonna need four, four objects, four colors, okay? A blue, red, green, and yellow if you can, or any colors. It really doesn't matter for the older ones. 
Right, babe, definitely. Go on, you can get it today. All right, I like to see this competitiveness from the parents, trying to win those medals. Matt, that's it. So we've had a little warm up. Okay, now we're going to go to the big session. I'm the medal. All right, let's hold it there. So, guys, yeah, for the second lot, you're going to need four objects. It doesn't necessarily have to be four different colours, it makes life a little bit easier. Okay. It does make it a little bit easier if you've got different colours for the kids to remember which side's which, but it really doesn't matter as long as we've got four sides, okay, for our little quiz at the end. And if you are, if you did do the first session, guys, the second quiz questions, oh, there's some tricky ones in there. We're going to learn a bit of knowledge today, and hopefully Google's right. So I spent all night on it trying to find all the answers. Right, guys, are we ready for session number two? So this one is aimed at 6 to 12 so it's going to be if you've just done the first session there's a couple of things similar we're just going to obviously up the level of it a little bit i just need to find my little helper who seems to have disappeared as i said i needed him for this next one so let me just go fetch him come on t need you for this well done right pop it on there i want a medal you can't play with it though because you're going to do the next session aren't you right then guys so get yourself a ball where's all the football with me Right, right guys, so for our warm up, so just so you know as well guys, if you've just jumped on, we're going to do a little bit of passing, a little bit of tackling today, a little bit of footwork, a bit of movement, a bit of all sorts going on, okay? <laughs> all age groups, six, we'll just say six and above Bev, alright, anyone six and above, in fact anybody, it's about your ability guys and just willing to get involved isn't it? No, come on, right. So first one guys, gonna have a little warm up. Okay, need one person either side of the square. What? Here. Is that leaking on me? No, come on. There's nothing leaking on Nothing, me. nothing's leaking on you. Right, right, T, come on. All right, so on the other side, on the other side. So we're gonna have a little warm up guys. So we're gonna start off, we're just gonna have a little jog around, not yet, around the square. When I shout the word ball, you're going to run in and you're going to put your foot on the ball as fast as you can for the first one. Are you ready? So just a nice steady jog. All right, I know we're fully warmed up, but there's people just joining in. So a nice little jog round. Okay. Listen for me to shout the word ball. All right. If someone behind you is getting close, you've got to get away from them. Switch. Switch, all right. So we're switching. We're going to go around the other way. And ball. So you're going to get in. Whoa, daddy. One nil. You're not allowed to go I am, I'm allowed fast. to do everything. I'm allowed to go as fast as I want. All right, got to learn. Right then, guys, so back round again. Back round, back round. Oh, he's getting close to switch. We're going the other way. You're going to shout ball this time, Theo. Ball. 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 Theo, get the ball. Well done. Excuse me. Right, guys, this time, we're going to do a little side to side, little side step. So all the way around, facing the inside of the square. So side step, looking inside the square. Are we ready? Switch. Oh, switch. So we're going to go the other way. Still looking to the inside of the square. Ball. Ball. Oh. Oh. 50, 50. All right, so stop munging then. If you got it, what are you mourning for? 50, 50 challenge. Theo, you touched the ball. You got the point. Stop whinging. Right, back on the outside. Gotta go 54 leads that time. Right, we're gonna go side to side again, but this time we're gonna face outside of the square, so there's balls gonna be behind you. Okay. So side to side. Switch! Switch, we go the other way around. Okay. Oh. Ball! Ball! Oh my god, turn! Oh, Theo gets the ball. Well done. I just switched it around. Right? Yeah. Right then, guys, this time, we need to, Theo, keep the ball inside the square, please. All right, while I explain the next game. It's a little bit different this time. So, if you can, guys, try and make the square a little bit bigger. Give yourself a little bit more space. Okay. Think in the middle, please. Come on. You wanted to do this second one with me? Okay. Right, guys, so this one... And have a mini game of King of the Ring. Okay. So I know you're, gonna, what that is. you're gonna choose one person to start with the ball. Yeah. So I'll start with the ball. 
My job, guys, I'm going to have 20 seconds to try and keep hold of it. Theo's got 20 seconds to try and win it off me. If Theo gets the ball off me, he then keeps it for the remainder of the time, and I've got to try and get it off him. Whoever's got the ball at the end of the 20 seconds, winner. Okay, we're going to have three rounds. So first to two, he's going to win. Yeah. So choose somebody to start with the yeah, ball. Daddy. So I'm going to start with this one. Are you ready then, T? You have 20 seconds to try and get it off me. Okay? Not yet. In three, two, one, go! You gotta try and get it off me. Oh, oh. You gotta try and get it, keep tackling. Oh, he's got it. So I've got to get, oh, I've got it back off him. Keep going, keep going. Oh, oh. oh he's won it back. No, he's got it. Got five, four, oh, three, two, one. Full time. Right, I get the ball at the end, so I get the first point. Right, Theo, you're going to start with it this time. I'm going to be better than you. Well, so I hope you are. So Theo's got to win this one, or his daddy's won. Okay, so 20 seconds, guys, to keep hold of that ball. Five, four, three, two, one, go! I'm going to try and win it. I'm going to try and tackle him. Oh, get it back in, bring it back in. That's it. Ten seconds gone. Let's try and tackle, that's it. Get that body in between. Oh, oh, no. oh, I nearly pinched it. Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. So we've got one, one. No, you've got zero, I've got one. No, I won the first game. You won the second game. Okay. Right, guys, if you have got a one, one, like we have, you're going to have to start opposite. So on that side. Right, so when I shout go, got to run in whoever gets it, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. In three, yeah. two, two, one, go! Oh, oh I've got it. Right, you've got to try and get it off me. got 20 seconds to have it, not it? Oh, did I get nutmegs? Oh, Theo's got it. Don't kick it away, you've got to keep it. Back in here, quick, quick, quick. Five, four, four, three, oh, diving in. Two, one, full time. Theo, king of the ring, two points to one. Get the ball for me. Right, guys, who won that one at home? Who's the king or queen of the ring? Got it. Got a ball right in the middle then. Right, in fact, you stand on that side with it. We're going to do our passing game now. Okay. Right then, guys. So let's see who won. Who is the king or queen of the ring of the garden? Who's the champion? Aye, 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 aye. Three nil, Rhiannon, and she can give you a chance. Come on, baby, if you want that medal. Okay, gotta get get in there. Ready? So, see you on that side for me. So we're just gonna do a little passing game now. Start off really simple for you. Two one, Alex. Oh, the kids are on fire today. Parents got no chance of winning this medal. Right then. Which part of the foot do we pass the ball with? T? Inside. So we're just gonna start off, guys. Just one minute. Just get that ball passing backwards and forwards. Thank you. So when the ball comes to you, control it, pass it back. If you can do it first time, do it first time. Come on, buddy. I'll do it later. Right, so we're going to pass the ball across the square. That's it. If you need to take a touch, take a touch. And then get it passed across. If you can do it, remember it's just a pass. So you've only got to get it across. So we keep it. Oh, look at this one touch stuff. Oh, oh, try to beat me. That's it. Bit of Bielsa ball going off. Oh, dodgy pass at the end. Okay, so a couple of seconds, guys. Another 20 seconds. Just get those passes in. If you can do it first time, great. If you need to take a touch, take a touch. Oh, we've got the little scooper. 10 more seconds. Oh, get it back in. Quick, quick, quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, I'd hold it there. Oh. Big smash shot at the end. Right then guys, this time we're gonna, we're gonna move around the square, okay? So, Theo, you get the ball, leave the grass for me, buddy. I'm giving you one. I don't need any grass, dude. No, this one. Right? So this time when we receive the ball, we're gonna move around the square. So pass me the ball, Theo. So it's up to whoever receives the ball which way you want to go. The other person needs to go the other way. So in fact, so Theo, stay there. So when I receive the ball, if I go this way around, where are you going to go? That way. that way. And then we get the pass here. You'll be there. 
And I'm going to pass the ball to Theo, then Theo decides which round, round he wants to go. And then I'd move back the same way. Okay, so we're always opposite sides. Then we pass the ball again. I'm going to take my first touch, I'm going to go this way this time. So Theo's going to go around that way, and I pass the ball across. And then Theo, pass the ball before you run. Oh no, sorry, yeah, you go around. Oh, I'm losing my mind today. And that's it. And then, uh, so have a go at that, guys. Get yourselves moving. So whoever receives the ball, if we can, can we receive it and go out straight away? Okay, Theo, yeah, that side, and then we'll pass you the ball. Okay, so we take a touch, which way we're going to go, and the other partner's going to follow you. Go the opposite way so we can come across. That's it. You're going for a cheeky back heel. Oh, we're going to go which way am I going to go? You don't decide, I decide. I've got the ball. I'm going to go this way. No, I'm not going to go this way. No, I'm going to go this way. Oh, I've lost the ball. I'm going to go this way. So you got to be that side. And then pass the ball through. Oh, I've got to stop it. Don't just kick it. Got to control it, dude. Okay. So we'll give you another 20 seconds, guys, at this. So that's it, which way you're going, that way around. And then in, so pass it across, see? Oh, it's got to come to me though. Is it going to come? Is it going to get here? Yes, and I'm going to go this way. Three, two, one. Full time. Right, T, you're going to start on that side for me. We're now going to play a little competition with this. So stand up there, buddy. Where's the ball? So to win a point, 2-1 Will, <laughs> can't blame the shopping list, Will, uh, Matt, okay, right guys, so I'm going to play a little competition now, so you're going to try and pass the ball through, out across the square, okay, before the, your opposition player gets there, alright, so like we've just done, but this time you're going to be nice and fast, so Theo, stand up for me, quick, quick, quick. Right, so pass me the ball, so we're going to get the ball in, whoever gets the ball, you're going to go somewhere really quick and then pass it. Oh, no, mate, you've got to take the ball, remember? You've got to listen. When you get the ball, you've got to control it, you've got to pick which side to go. So I've got, when I come to this side, I'm going to try and pass it through there before Theo gets there. Theo's got to try and stop it, like that, and then he decides which way he's going to go. It's faster though. And then as soon as he gets there, he's going to pass it and try and pass it through here before I get there. So I get it, and then I'm going to come this way. So I think I was going to get across. I'm going to pass it. Can he stop it? Got to stop it. Okay. If, obviously, he Theo goes round, go round T. And then try, you're going to try and pass it through there before I get there. Right, big kick. If he, get, oh, if he gets it through before I get there, Theo wins that point, okay? So we're looking two things. Okay, good first touch if we can, gets us going. Yes, mate? No, just leave it there for now, buddy. We'll do Theo, we've got people watching who don't want to see you taking graph into mummy. Okay. Oh, head spin. Right, get a third good first touch, get out there. If you want to change direction, you can try and catch that other person out. As soon as you get round, pass it across. And obviously, guys, try and do it as a pass rather than a shot. Obviously, blasting it across definitely going to probably get there okay it depends how well you want to test the other person's touch but we are looking at passing so just try and pass it the ball across and try and get it across the line before your opposition player gets there okay right are we ready so again guys we're just going to play best of three so the first to two is going to win are you ready Theo? so you're going to play the ball to me and then i'm going to move with it so i'm going to go this way oh i'm going to pass the ball across you've got to stop it that's it then you're going to decide which way you're going it's going to be fast and you've got to get it across before I get there. So you've got to be quick with it. Oh, oh he's found the bottom corner. Right, 1 0, Theo. Are you ready? If you can get there, I'm going to pass it to you first. You can start. So go. Where are you going? Which side? Good first touch, buddy. Superb. And then pass. I stopped it this time. I'm going to go this way. Oh, I've got tackled, so I'm going to go back this way. Oh, I'm getting tackled by the corner. I love it. Pass. Yes. 1 1. 1 1. And I got tackled by the cones as well. Okay, right, last point. Are you ready, T? Are you ready? Super fast. That was a good first touch of that first one, all right? Are you ready? Which way are we going? Nice touch again. It's going that way. So I'm going to come across and try and block it. I'm going to try and block it now. I've got to be fast. No, I've got to try and block it. From getting... Oh, it's done me with eyes. I'm going this way. And I'm going to pass. 
Oh, he stopped it. Well done. You keep hold of it. You're going to pass. You're going to move. Which way are we going? Oh, that's the cage. Your last point. Oh, blocked it. I'm going to go this way. Oh. Can you stop it? Yes, good stop. Who's going to get this last point? Oh, oh he's made it easy for me. Here we go. Jump up. Can he stop it? Can he stop it? Oh, I'll give you a chance, didn't I? So you've got to go around. I'll pass it to you. So you've got to get round. That's it. You're going to go that way. Oh. Oh. Theo, 2 1 winner. Well done, dude. Give me a high 10. Yes. Right, guys. So there's just a little passing game for you there. Cover go at. Grab yourselves a quick drink. Mommy, and then we're going to finish with a little quiz. Can I just give yes, you can go and do it now. I don't know why mummy would want a blade of grass out of the garden, but he's determined to give, pass it on to her, so we'll let him get on. 4-2 to Rhiannon. Oh, Bev, if you want that medal, I think this medal's going to Rhiannon today. So, guys, yeah, just while we're in this little break period, remember, just click a watch, click share the video while you're on, let other people know what's going on. Especially now it's sunny. It's the first session I think we've done in the sunshine. So it'd be nice to show people we do play in the sun as well. Nil-nil, an exciting nil-nil draw. <laughs> Don't know if, well, yeah, there's, there's a few of those about. She has got enough medals. Never, you can never have enough medals, Bev. Never. Never stop winning them, Rhiannon. Get as many as you can. Right then, guys. So, I'm going to finish with a little quiz. Two reasons. One because everybody seems to be doing online quizzes at the moment, okay? It's the in thing, it's the thing of 2020, okay? But mainly, I've had a few people sort of ask us about how, how to incorporate a little bit of learning and sport and how we combine it, especially with, like, with mine, fully active, would rather be outside doing stuff than sat at a desk and doing the books. Obviously, that stuff's important as well, but we try and do as much learning as we can out playing games so whether that be a football throwing games things like that so we're just going to show you a little game that you can adapt and do in different ways so we'll play the game i'll show you how we're going to play it and then at the end I'll, I'll explain a couple of variations you can do with it going forward as well so what we need guys is you're going to have four sides again if you've got the four objects i just want you to put the, or the four colors just put them here that way make the point take my shins off just put one in each corner Okay, and like I said, for the older ones, guys, it doesn't have to be a colour. It can be absolutely anything, okay? Because the, these coloured cones are actually going to represent football teams, okay? So, as it is Leeds United's day today, it or would have been Leeds United day, one of the teams is Leeds United. So, give one of those colours to Leeds United. We're going to have Leeds United is going to be blue, Theo, Okay. So we're going to go blue for Leeds United. And then we've just gone for the top three in the Premiership. So red is going to be Liverpool. Don't sit on there, dude, because you'll knock the camera down. So red for us is going to be Liverpool. The green cone is going to be Manchester City. And the yellow cone is going to be Leicester City. Okay? So we've got Leeds United, Liverpool, Man City and Leicester City. There are our four answers. Okay? So all the questions are going to be about those four teams. You've got to work out... The answer, get to that side, get to the answer as quick as you can. And like I said, if you're going against somebody, get there as fast as you can. Because if you both get the right answer, whoever got there first gets an extra point. Okay? So like I said, if I said, what kit have I got on today? It's Leeds United, so you've got to get there as fast as you can. <clears throat> whoever gets there first gets an extra point if you're right. Okay? Are we all ready for the quiz? I'm going to start off. It's got four rounds. Round one should be really easy. Round two, mm, slightly harder, but not as hard. Rounds three and four, some toughies, okay? But we've gone for that because one of, the, one of the questions when we do this game with the kids is, I don't know anything about football. I know how to play and I enjoy playing, but I don't know any knowledge really about football. So we always say, this is where you learn. If you don't know the answer, just have a guess. Pick one, is one of them's gonna be right. Okay, and then obviously when we give you the answer, hopefully you remember those answers going forward and we get a little bit of knowledge, so okay? This, so, I? yes, mate, so you're going to do it in the middle. Do you want to do it or not? No. Okay, then, so say bye to everyone. 
Bye. Theo's shattered and wants some breakfast again, okay? In you go, I'll do this last bit on my own. All right, so in the middle, guys, to start off with, for question one, just want you dribbling around. Anywhere you want, okay? Just remember which side is which, okay? The first round of questions are stadiums. So I'm gonna shout out a stadium, Got to tell me which team plays in that stadium. Get to that corner. You've got five seconds to get there, guys, okay? So dribbling around, okay? Yeah, I think the extra session is that step too far for Theo this morning. Right, guys, so moving around with that football. Okay, question number one. Which team, let's start off easy, plays at Ellen Road? Who plays their home games at Ellen Road? Five, four, three, two, one full time hopefully you all got the right answer guys okay so remember hopefully you know which side is which so you should be stood the answer is leeds united so you should all be hi tilly okay phil t i don't know who man man you i've never heard of him mate i'm afraid okay so Yep, the answer for question number one, who plays at Ellen Road? You should all be stood by your Leeds United answer, okay? Right, if you did that, you get a point. If you both, if you're going against somebody, whoever got there first gets an extra point. So you'll be on two, okay? Right, moving around with that ball again. So I assume we go a little bit quicker this time. So moving around different places, okay? All the way around, getting people out of the way. Whoever you're playing with, mum or dad, just give them a little nudge out of the way. All right, don't let them get in your way, okay? Who plays at the King Power Stadium? The King Power Stadium, guys. Who plays there? You've got five, four, three, two, one. Full time. Right, guys. Are you at an answer? If you want the point, you should be stood at Leicester City. So if you're stood at Leicester City, yes, you get yourself a point. Okay. Threw that one in just for Alfie. I don't know if he's still watching. Okay, Steve and Gemma there. So, guys, if you're stood at the Leicester answer, you've got yourself another point. And obviously, if you got there first, you get a bonus point. Two questions left, two possible answers. 50-50 now, so it's getting a little bit easier. Okay. Moving around with that ball again, off we go. Okay, moving around. Who plays their football at the Etihad Stadium? Etihad Stadium, five, four, three, two, one, full time. Who is it, guys? Are you stood for the point? You need to be stood next to Manchester City. So Man City play their games at the Etihad Stadium, okay? Right, and then the next one, guys. Okay, this one should be really, it's gonna be a race. There's only one answer left. So I wonder which corner it's gonna be. Mm. So moving around with the ball, we'll go, we'll go straight into it, guys. All right, I'm just gonna shout the team out. So get moving around, go fast, go fast. Don't just stand around that answer because you know where it is, okay? Do something different. All right, so you've got a chance of getting there. Who plays at Anfield? Go. So who plays at Anfield? Who got there first? Because <laughs> I think that last one was just a sheer race to get there. So the answer, obviously, the only team, man, the only Manchester team. I think there is only one Manchester team in Manchester. I think there are one city club or one club city, I do believe. Obviously, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But yeah, the answer to that one was Liverpool. Well done, guys. Right. Question number two, or round number two. If you want to move them around, you can. If you want to keep them the same. This time, we're going to go for managers. Okay, so I'm going to shout the manager of that team. Get there as fast as you can. Okay? So... I'm going to go really quick with this one. Are you ready? Question number one. Who is the manager? Or who manages this? Which team do they manage? And we're going to go for Brendan Rodgers. Who does Brendan Rodgers manage? Five, four, three, two, 
One. Boom. Are you there? Are you stood by Leicester City? If you're stood by Leicester City, guys, you've got yourself another point. So, Brendan Rodgers. Okay. Also, guys, this round, round number two, instead of just dribbling around this time, we're going to go for our toe tap sambas. I forgot to mention that. So, we're going to go left, right, left, and then go boom. So, we're just in the middle, just getting our samba on. Okay. Anyone who's been practicing who can go around in circles from last week, do that as well. Okay. But we're getting our samba on, getting our dance on. Okay. Ready for the next question. Who does this person manage? Which team we're going for? Marcelo Bielsa. Who does he manage? Go, go, go. <laughs> Tricky one trying to catch you out there, Simon. So three, two, one. Full time, guys. So Bielsa, who, which team does he manage? Give you a little clue, little clue right there for you. All right, don't know what the answer might be. Okay, if you've got Leeds United, guys, you've got the right answer again. Okay, two managers to go. Who are they gonna be? Which one's gonna come first? Okay, are you ready? So, toe tap sambas again while you're waiting for the question. So, we're in. Go the fastest. Okay. Question: Who is the manager? Who does he manage? Sorry, Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp. Who does he manage? Three, two, one. Did you get there in time? Did you get the right answer? Jurgen Klopp is the manager of Liverpool. So hopefully you got that one right, guys. And who's the manager? Who Pep, Pep Guardiola manage? Go! Quick, 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 who gets there first? Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. Thought I'd throw that one in very quickly, guys. Try to catch you out. So Pep Guardiola is the manager of Man City. Okay, if you got that one right, all the points. Now we're going to start getting a little bit tricky. These are some oldies. Not just yet, mate. Once I'm finished, I'll come inside, won't I? <laughs> So impatient. Right. Right, guys. So, the next one. Remember which way around. The next one is the most appearances for the club. All right. So, this is something for you to have a look at later on. Maybe Google the players. Let the younger ones see who they are. Okay. Some of them might be relevant. Might be recent players. Okay. Who knows? Right, guys, so there might be a little bit of guesswork. Some of them, a little bit easy, because they're well-known, very well-known players for the clubs. All right, others maybe not so. So we're looking for most appearances for the club, okay? So I'm going to tell you the player. You've just got to find which club that person made the most appearances for, okay? Right then, so should we start off easy or should we start off hard? Let's go for a hard one. Or is it? Might be easy. If you know the answer, it's not going to be hard, is it? Right then. So, which player, or who had the most appearances, okay, his name, which club did he have the most appearances for? His name is Graham Cross. Graham Cross. Most appearances for which club, guys? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. Oof. It's a toughie, isn't it? Everyone like that. Who's Graham Cross? Okay. 600 appearances for the club. The right answer, guys. Leicester City. <gasps> Who got it right? Who got it right? Who got Leicester City? 600 appearances for Graham Cross. Okay. Legend, possibly. Right then, guys. <clears throat> this time, oh, I keep forgetting to show you what I want you to do in the middle, don't I? Right, guys, this time we're just going to do insides to outsides. So in the middle, inside to outside, moving that ball around, okay, while you're waiting for the question. All right. Right then, next one. Most appearances for the club. 
be an easy one, this one. Anyone get it right? Okay, good guess from Rhiannon. That's what it's all about. And hopefully you remember it for the future. Okay. Right. Most appearances. Which club did this person have? Jack Charlton. Jack Charlton. Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. 773 appearances for this club. But which club was it? The answer, guys, Leeds United. So if you're at Leeds United, you've got yourself another point. <clears throat> Who got that one right? Hopefully that was a little bit easier, especially for the parents. Okay. Baz, this man, I don't know who this, this man new team are. I don't know. People keep, I'll have to Google them and have a look. A lot of people know about them. Okay. So yes, Leeds United guys. Right. So get those insides to outsides going again. Okay, inside, outside, inside, outside. Try and use a different foot for each question. Right, next one. Who had the most appearances for this club? Which club did they have the most appearances for? The name this time is Alan Oakes. Alan Oakes, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. Right, guys, the answer. Alan Oakes, he had... 676 appearances for this club. The club is Manchester City. So give yourselves a point if you're stood at Man City, which only leaves us with one answer left. Ian Callahan. Who's he play for? Ian Callahan. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Right, guys, who got to Liverpool first? Only one answer left and 857 appearances for Ian Callahan. <laughs> top ones, top bins. Right then guys, move on. Final round. Four questions left and then we're done for Saturday. We can get our Leeds United promotion party off and running, okay? <clears throat> right guys, your skill for your final set of questions Okay, we're going to do keepy uppies. So I want you to try and keep the ball up as much as you can. Oops. Okay. So again, if you're a beginner level, we can just bounce it, kick, catch, bounce, kick, catch. Or we can just do kick, bounce, kick, bounce, kick, bounce, whatever it is you want to do. Try and keep it up. When you hear the answer, the ball needs to go on the floor and you need to get to it as fast as you can. Okay. The last round is top goal scorers. Okay, so who is the top goal scorer for the team? Or what team were they the top goal scorer for? Okay, so are you ready? So get those keepy uppies going. First question, who's this person the top goal scorer for? Sergio Aguero. Who's Sergio Aguero top scorer for? Three two one full time are you all back on baz was it your stream that crashed or mine <gasps> hopefully there's no problems going out everyone's seen it oh is that just your your response to getting the wrong answer baz right inside so sergio aguero top goal scorer for manchester city currently on 254 okay I'm sure that will increase as we get football back up and running. Right, guys. So back in the middle. Get yourself some keepy-uppies going. Okay, who's this player the top goal scorer for? 54 keepy-uppies there. New record. Fantastic. And we're going to go for next player, Peter Lorimer. Who is he the top goal scorer for? With 238 goals. Three, two, one, full time. So the answer to that one, guys, you should be at Leeds United. Peter Lorimer, top goal scorer for Leeds United. 238 goals. Right, next one, guys. This person scored a massive 346 goals for this club. But which club was it? The player 
is Ian Rush. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Full time. All right, guys, are you all at Liverpool? You should all be at Liverpool. Okay, Ian Rush, 346 goals for the club. Right, and your last question. There's only one possible answer, guys, so it's the quickest one to get there. Arthur Chandler. Who's he the top goal scorer for? Go. Three, two, one. Full time. No problem, Phil. Well done for getting involved, mate. Enjoy the snacks. So, guys, Arthur Chandler was the top goal scorer for Leicester. 273 goals. So, guys, just a little bit of football knowledge for you there. All right, let me just move this out of the way. Right, guys, so bring yourselves in. Been coming nice and close. We'll have a little chat. Okay. Well done, Simon. Last answer, 6 3 to Rhiannon. She's been on fire today, Quizmaster. Get yourself on the chase. Right, guys, so obviously that last little game was obviously done for two reasons. One, because obviously everyone loves the quizzes and stuff at the moment. But two, just a way of showing you how you can do some sport games, but to teach um, some, some school lessons. So obviously that was just football questions. You can choose anything you want. You can do it in maths, all right? You give each side, okay, you can have as many sides as you want, but give each side a number. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and then give them, while they're doing a little skill, give them a maths question. Okay, so 10 minus 5, get there as fast as you can, which is the answer? 5, all right? You can make it as advanced or as simple as you want, okay? Glad you've enjoyed, Andrew. So hopefully it just gives you a few ideas there, of what things you can do. You can do it with diff different equipment and things as well. But if you do want any ideas, guys, of how you can do games, uh, incorporate a little bit of learning, drop me a message. I'll send a few across to you, not a problem. Or let me know what equipment things you've got, what areas you've got. I can give you some games that you can do, okay, in your own home. But hopefully you enjoyed that. A little bit of passing, a little bit of another fun game for you to play against somebody. Give yourself a five, ten minute break away from your schoolwork, okay? And to finish off with, a few things. Number one, the medal. Is it Andrew? Is it Bev? Okay, who is it going to? Is it Matt? Is it Will? Is it Rhiannon? Is it Alex? All these people working hard today, guys. It's got to go to everybody. All right, big superstar. Everyone, Effort from everyone today, guys. Obviously, a little bit of a, a an upsetting day because we should have been, I'm sure Matt will agree with me here, all right, we should have been going to Ellen Road today for a big promotion party. So we're just going to have one here at home. We're going to play lots of football songs. I know, we've been before. We would have been going today as well, okay? So we're going to have a little party at home. Hope you guys do out there. Enjoy the games, guys. Remember, you can get them. You can look back at them on our Facebook page all the time they'll be uploaded straight away once i've finished there i'll be uploading it onto our youtube channel as well so you can get all the sessions at any stage that you want all right they're all there for you to watch do keep please sharing passing it on to people let them all know that we're here next week is going to be one session so it's going to be a session for everybody next week and we're going to do a little football fitness session all right so mums and dads don't be having a lay-in next week okay just because i've mentioned the word fitness all right, we want you all involved, guys. Going to show you some little games to play. All right, with each other. We're using the foot, using footballs as equipment and things, just to have a little bit of fun fitness. So it'll be about half an hour session for everybody. Okay, and we'll all have some fun. Thanks again for joining us, little ones. If you've got preschoolers, we've got a session on Monday morning for our sporty tots. All right, but if not, we'll be back next Saturday for some football fitness. Enjoy your weekends, guys. Enjoy the rest of the week. Keep going. We're getting there. Each week is a week closer. Hopefully, we're getting a week closer to being back, playing together, playing football on the pitches together at some point, okay? Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. I'll see you next week. All I can finish with is... Leeds, Leeds, Leeds.